Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys, a clay death mask that Professor Anatoly Martin and his team discovered at the Chester Kosky burial mound in Kashia has puzzled Russian archaeologists since 1968. Russia, the immaterial dirt had incited a bigger number of inquiries than response to. Who was it shaped later? Where could the remainder of the grave have been? In addition, the most agitating question, what was inside that hard earth shell? All things considered, following quite a while of vulnerability, specialists at last figured out reality. However, it wasn't a thing near what they'd anticipated in 2100-year-old human earth had found in Siberia has unimaginable items inside. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. It started in 1968, when teacher Anatoly Ivanovich Martin and his partners found dirt among other grave merchandise from the tiger culture, a relative of the Bronze Time of Siberia going back 2,100 years. The archaeological group was glad with this extraordinary revelation and couldn't pause. To examine its contents, Clay can decipher the ancient world of southern Siberia's past. I experienced difficulty eliminating the mud cover. According to the Siberian Times, Professor Martin is skilled at evaluating X-rays, which demonstrate that the skull's bones are located in extremely small spaces, in contrast to the particularly small size of a human skull's interior. Not seeing it on the planet, I searched for different signs. The fire demise cover, found in a popular graveyard not a long way from the town of Shastakovo, is one they've seen previously. In old times, the entombment made a few strides before the messy face and body were put on the fires. The first was to permit the cadaver to deteriorate. Until it was time to move on to the next phase, the body was kept in a stone coffin, sometimes in the family home. The tree's cerebrum was penetrated, a surgery that includes making a little opening in the skull as a passage, leaving the rest in one piece. The last piece of the memorial service is the planning of the face for death. Tager burial pits were made to hold hundreds of prepared corpses as well as small groups of the deceased. Has the big secret hidden within been discovered by Russian archaeologists? Almost 40 years after the innovation was first illustrated, specialists got reactions and consented to uncover its items. Teacher and Dr. Natalia Palasso Mack of the Organization of Antiquarianism and Ethnography, Konstantin Cooper of the Organization of Atomic Material Science, was engaged with the situation. These otherworldly associations might play had an impact in the marker's custom of having ram skulls joined to human covers, persuading them to think it wasn't in a deep sense simple. Professor Palasso Mack discusses a number of possible outcomes in the first scientific journal to create a ram's skull from a dead eye. He hypothesizes that tiger societies utilize the creature during memorial service functions as an image of the body's concealed demise. Teacher Palasso Mack accepts that the individual who composed this sentence entered this space with his twofold creature, his spirit. One clarification for the ram's skull passing cover is that the man isn't dead. Rather than living individuals who had kicked the bucket from different causes, creatures, sheep and human skins were given. Mac Castle lets researchers know which of these speculations makes quick work of the smash. Berg is exhuming up to 30 old burial chambers. Experts have discovered a number of surprising artifacts that are thought to date back to the Bronze Age providing fascinating insights into the prehistoric Siberian culture of the region. The disclosure of numerous gravest locales has revealed insight into the funerary acts of antiquated Russian people groups. The U.S. Tartars, for whom the site is apparently named, are remembered to have brought Western Siberia home quite a long time back. However, they weren't the main people to transform the region. Of course, Western Siberia has been home to a wide variety of distinct cultures over the past few thousand years, some of which we know very little about. One such culture, the Astart, dates back to the Neolithic era. Between the 18th and 16th centuries BC, this group lived in Siberia, but not much is known about them. What we cannot deny is that the options were named after a settlement called a dino, 
which sat on the lower Aishan stream in the west of Siberia. As per Lili Akaba, Leva from the Navasa Bursky Establishment of Prehistoric Studies and Ethnography, in all honesty, many societies in Siberia had a shamanistic premise to their religions going as far as possible back to the Bronze Age. A shaman, a kind of minister, is somebody who can see and speak with the spirits of various universes. In Siberian shamanism, the universe comprises of three separate universes. As well as recuperating and tackling issues, shamans could likewise play out a custom called divination, which permitted them to see what's to come. As per Site 56, alongside fortune-telling, shamans go on a blissful excursion to a different universe and look for exhortation from the precursors and spirits who live there. It is like antiquated history. However, numerous cutting-edge Siberian societies actually practice shamanism today. Be that as it may, back to the discoveries of the Burial Place Review, distributed in May 2019. The jewelry has around 50 noses, and a bird skull. The muzzle is attached to the back of the human skull in the same way that a protective collar is attached to its owner, as researcher Lily Bakaliva told the Siberian Times last month. What the scientists found at the exhuming site were not the supposed bird teams, yet a two-level grave, on top of which were the remaining parts of two kids. However, experts discovered something unusual. Under was a youthful body, accepted to be somewhere in the range of five and ten years of age at the hour of death. The adult man's remains were located beneath the children's bodies, and the researchers discovered something unexpected next to his head. The bronze visor, two legs of two halves of the globe, appears to be unique from the two glasses whenever found by Bronze Age scientists. Specialists doesn't know, and another hypothesis is that it very well may be essential for an interment cover. Furthermore, not just old containers were found in the burial chamber. Archaeologists likewise tracked down five coins. I say this since we have been working here for quite a while and have found in excess of 30 entombments. Scientists are naturally perplexed by this artifact's singularity. Researchers may have been perplexed as to why the colored jars and pendants were buried in the first place. The country's incredible pyramids were worked as immense entombment chambers, loaded up with wealth, and all that the ruler required for a smooth progress to eternity. Be that as it may, obviously, few out of every audible burial place has a place with the regal family. As a matter of fact, the custom of entombment items can be followed back to the Neolithic age over a long time back. At the point when these traditions created, as they did in Old Egypt, grave products likewise appeared to act for the purpose of otherworldly endurance. The gathering was in this manner significant for Siberian archaeologists, who affirmed that there ought to be a unique spot for the two men, Kaba Liva, the proprietor of the glass dabs and precious stones, told the Siberian Times in 2019. Despite the fact that specialists in Siberia still have doubts about the reason for the material, in addition to the fact that it is not unexpected for track down these grave merchandise, yet having lived for 5,000 years, I know that these are the main works. Notwithstanding the miracles of the Bronze Age and the numerous old cadavers found in Siberia, there are numerous antiquated secrets of the district yet to be uncovered. Another leg bone with fragments that were carbon dated to 45,000 years ago was found in Western Siberia in 2008. This bone isn't known as the Equitable Man. It is the most seasoned bone. Consequently, human leg muscles are not old carbon skeletons, but rather DNA arrangements. They might have been the earliest shepherds, a culture that was quick to relocate to Asia and Europe quite a while back, as indicated by Public Geographic. Furthermore, it's not by any means the only startling locating found in Siberia lately. In 2010, The Guardian reported the discovery of a small finger bone thought to belong to an unidentified human relative in Siberia's Egg Dennis Cave in the Altai Mountains, along with possible fragments of a human relative, is tall. Kid, the revelation was made when researchers at the Maximum Planck Establishment for Developmental Human Sciences in Leipzig, Germany, led tests on the bones. 
The Guardian reports that the mother side of Johannes Cross DNA comes from the Metachandaria, the subcellular body that stores genetic material. The consequences of the quality grouping of the finger bones shocked researchers in Germany. Cross told the gatekeeper it wasn't similar story as early people or Neanderthals. It resembles nothing I've at any point seen. As per Kraus, DNA from finger bones is like human DNA. However, the succession is unique. So regardless of whether it's a new disclosure, it appears there are more secrets to be tracked down in Siberia. From old burial places to the old hills of Aden. It's a jungle gym for archaeologists and history specialists. But on the other hand, it's somewhat unique. Dollars and glasses. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.